This is Don Mobile Home Erling with SellThisMobileHome.com uh, coming to you from one of the trailer parks, one of the mobile home parks, one of the manufactured home communities uh, that we typically buy in. It's not. It's about probably about two hours away from uh, where I live in uh, Utah. Um, this home actually here is one of the homes we were just recently acquired. Uh, it is a 1985 two bedroom one bath mobile home. Um, I'd say it's probably about just shy of 900 square foot. Uh, decent sized second bedroom, decent sized master bedroom. Um, pretty well maintained. It's been obviously recited at one point in time. Um, and uh, so what we basically did is there's a situation where the lady uh, had bought this home probably a couple, of, about two, three years ago uh, for $12,500. Um, had put some upgrades into it and cleaned it up a bit. Uh, was in a situation where she needed to go help her mother um, somewhere else. So she needed to move and didn't have time, nor did she want to wait to receive that 12500 because a lot of people just don't have the cash for that. So uh, what basically was happening is she uh, she asked the park manager if she could recommend somebody that was paying cash, and basically that's where we came in. Went over, spoke with her. Gave her an offer of $5,000 for the home. Uh, two days later, she accepted it. And so, uh, we about a month later, we ended up taking possession of the home. Um, we've been doing repair, some repair work on it. We fixed some of the skirting at the bottom. Uh, some of this, this stuff right here. Okay, that's skirting. Um, we also repainted a lot of the trim around the outside. Um, it used to be red. This was not a good color. Um, we're going to be fixing and making sure that this is secure and safe, uh, the porch, reinforcing that. Um, plus, also, there's a railing that's missing on the other side going down into the yard. Um, one thing that's appealing about the home is the size um, of it, um, as well as the width. Um, it's a 16 wide. Well, 14 wide. It's a 14 wide. So it's a very desirable width. Uh, 12s and 10s don't necessarily end up selling as easily. Um, and then also it has a, um, a screen or a, uh, a closed-in, fenced-in uh, yard. So people could have dogs as well as also uh, kids playing in the backyard. Um, nice little, little side yard, front yard. Um, Two-car carport, which is another appealing factor, and as well as also a very large shed. Um, we also went and uh, painted the, the skirting, so we ended up having a consistent color on the inside. There's been some repairs done to the swamp cooler, as well as also uh, to some of the windows. One of the very first things that we always do with our properties is swap out locks. So we had some locks swapped out. We also typically put um, a lock box on our properties so that if I'm out of area or we have somebody that's of interest or if we have a, somebody that is a contractor working for us that they have access to um, the keys to be able to get into the home. Um, the uh, lady um, installed this tile in here a couple of years ago and uh, the thing is is the way that they did it they did it right <laughs> I can't tell you how many homes mobile homes I've been in where uh, you have tile on the floor and it is just a horrible mess spider cracks and all kinds of stuff all over the place so they actually did this right um, fridge was included there are a few things that um, you know that we need it to clean up like for instance the dishwasher wasn't working so we're installing a brand new dishwasher um, there's a little bit of plumbing that was done underneath there the stove came with not in bad shape and the cabinets overall aren't in bad shape at all I mean considering so we're gonna pretty much leave most of this room the way it is a um, big thing to always watch out for are going to be ceiling leaks and this thing was spotless as far as ceiling leaks um, as you can see nothing in this area alright and um, we did paint walls so a lot of these walls except for right there but a lot of these walls have been painted um, we just figured we'd just keep the contrast with the, the bottom wood um, tried to clean up the carpet but obviously 
that stain beyond recognition. It's got a little bit of a pet odor to it, so we might have to put new carpet in here. We're hoping to salvage it. Um, as we go down the hallway, the whole hallway is painted as well. This room was very clean. Um, didn't really have to do anything with this room. Lights were intact. No leaks. Everything was, windows worked, were functional. Um, the furnace, we've had to do um, some service and some repair to that, so they're in the middle of working on, on some of that. Swamp cooler is working better now, um, so there were some issues there. Um, the thing that's nice about this home is that normally in this area right around here, it, there's leaks like crazy, and this is one of the few homes that I've been in, and I've been in a lot, where is not currently is not leaking and this is the this is the old the old um original ceiling so um the door had been replaced by the previous owner so it's a brand new trailer door trailer type door it has that steel or aluminum um has that aluminum frame um, they're going to be fixing lights in here swapping those out cuz they're not working the one's not working I'm um, putting in accordion doors across there. They painted inside of there. Um, they also painted in this room. You will see that they painted. Uh, there is a faucet leak that we still have to fix. Um, obviously cleaning up there. Um, <laughs> Obviously the tile, they went a little too high on that, but it is what it is and it's in good condition and so we're just going to leave it there. Uh, toilet's newer and tub surround's in great shape, so we're not going to do anything with that. Um, we had the master here, so again, just recently did carpet cleaning in here and still got a little bit of a pet odor in it. Um, <clears throat> swamp or The uh, hot water heater when they recite it, the house, they actually covered over the exterior access, and so now there's interior access to the hot water heater, and it's a newer hot water heater. Um, so it's we were going to fix that and make it look a little bit nicer, but it is what it is, and there's not a whole lot you can do with that because you need to keep and maintain the integrity of the closet as well. So um, not a bad overall, not a bad looking home. Um, we picked it up for five. We probably have about a little over two thousand dollars into it, based off of some of the work that we've done. <clears throat> we have some doors that we're going to replace. Actually, one of the bathroom doors, I think, is, has a hole punched into it or something. Yeah, we're going to replace the door. We've got another door we're going to replace. Um, we're going to resell the home uh, for fifteen thousand dollars, three thousand down, three hundred a month. Um, how we came up with that is based off of what the market is for this area, plus also um, we've sold other homes in this community. It's a nice home. It's a nice community. I'd probably say it's probably about 100 units, a um, mixture of old and new, single and double wides. Um, it has a, a clubhouse, a uh, pool, some park amenities, and it's just kind of just like a, a nice, almost like a golf course kind of community, um, but with mobile homes in it. So it's just a nice, quiet place in which to be able to live. Um, just out, maybe about 30 minutes outside of a major metropolitan uh, downtown. So not a bad commute for the people. Uh, $500 is going to cover the lot rent. And then uh, you have, that's actually $490. And then uh, with utilities, so water, trash, sewer, you're up to about $515 a month here. And so the going rent in a lot of two-bedroom, one-bath homes you're looking probably about eight fifty, nine hundred dollars, um, like an apartment. Uh, at least a thousand, twelve hundred dollars if it is a house. So you know we're kind of in between, and so we've priced ours accordingly. That you know even with three hundred dollars on top, um, five fifteen, and then with their utilities, they're still going to be around a nine hundred dollar a month mark. So just recently listed this home. Um, we use a variety of different sources by which to market it. Uh, my business partner handles the incoming calls. We have featured ads that we use. We have a local television station that has classifieds on there for free. You can advertise, as well as also Craigslist. And then we have signage out front. 
um, of the home as well, and then also the park manager is directing people to us, and then we've had past clients that we've worked with, um, and also called on other homes that we're typically always following up with as well. So this is lot 175, uh, just a, a recap as to what we've done, where we're at, and what we plan on doing with this home. This is Don Mobile Home Erling with SellThisMobileHome.com.